This is the second video in a series on the afterlife and the world to come. So I want to talk about the afterlife, about heaven, about hell, but first I'll say this. We each have our individual life. We have our unique and highly subjective experience of life in our own psyche, in our own body, and there's no reason for me to believe that death is any different. Our experience of death will be as different and as subjective as our experience of life. They are going to mirror each other in a way. So if you led a righteous life, it could very well be that you end up in heaven, and I'll get to that in a second. But the idea of hell is not a place where you burn for all eternity for your sins, but rather it's a temporary kind of purgatory in the Catholic sense, where you receive judgment and punishment, a cleansing, a purification, and are then escorted into heaven. Now, the idea of heaven in Hebrew is called the Garden of Eden, because we all are meant to go back there eventually as a unified human race, as I see it, and partake of the fruit of the tree of life. So, based on what you did in this world, on your own uh, experience in this life, in this world, in your body, in your psyche, you will be able to receive judgment accordingly, if you merit it, and then move on. You don't stay in hell, and you don't stay in heaven, or the Garden of Eden, either. There's a second phase, there's phase two of mankind, which we will all get to together, back to Eden, back to where we failed, and succeed in obtaining and partaking of the fruit of the tree of life, as we were meant to, and move on to that next phase, to act two. So that's quickly, and in a nutshell, my idea of heaven and of hell. It's going to be as subjective as life is, that's my opinion. I have no reason to feel or think otherwise. There are many different teachings uh, in the oral traditions and different rabbis speaking with people who, uh, and, and with spirits, and I don't know, maybe that's true, maybe it's something that they actually went through, but I know or I believe that my experience will be as subjective and as unique as my own life. Let's have a good one.